x plus y is 100 xy is equal to 100 as well we have to find all values of x and y this is a simultaneous equation let us call this equation 1 and call this equation 2 from equation 1 we can make a dot of the variable x or y the subject of the formula and i'm going to use y in this case so from equation 1 y is the same thing as 100 minus x let's call this equation 3 we're going to refer back to this in a very short while so y is 100 minus x i'm going to go into equation 2 and substitute for y which is 100 minus x meaning x into 100 minus x is equal to 100. I'm going to expand this bracket. This is 100x minus x squared is equal to 100. I can bring this 100 to the left hand side to give me 100x minus x squared minus 100 is equal to 0. Now let us arrange this in descending power of x. I'm going to have negative x squared plus 100x minus 100 is equal to 0. Notice that the highest power of x here has a negative coefficient. For that reason, we can divide through or multiply through by negative 1. So that this becomes positive, we have x squared. This becomes negative, 100x. And this becomes positive, 100 is equal to 0. So we have a quadratic equation. And we check if this is factorizable. Otherwise, we use the quadratic formula. So the factors of 100 such that when multiplied together gives us 100 but when added together also gives us 100 that's going to be uh, a tough knot to crack so i'm just going to use the general quadratic formula and to find x the formula says minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a if you are familiar with this formula a b and c are the coefficients of x squared x and the constant term respectively in this case our a for this equation is 1 which is the coefficient of x squared our b is negative 100 and then our c is 100 So we are going to substitute these values into this equation to get our corresponding value for x. So x is equal to negative b. b is already negative, so we say negative negative 100 plus or minus negative 100 squared minus 4 times 1 times c, which is 100 as well. The square root of all of that, then divided by 2 times one x is equal to negative. We had negative negative hundred as going to be positive hundred. plus or minus the square root of we have 100 squared that's going to be 100 100 then negative 4 times 100 is simply 400 then divided by 2a 2a is 2 times 1 which is 2 
So x is equal to 100 plus or minus. We have 10,000 minus 400. That will just give us 9,600 divided by 2. So we say x is equal to 100 plus or minus. We can separate 9,600 into 96 times 100 divided by 2. We can also do a quick uh, division of 96. Ninety six. Let's start from four. This is two. This is four. This is six. And six here is one. So we have four squared times six. Therefore, x here is equal to hundred plus or minus the square root of 4 squared times 6 times 100 divided by 2. This will give us x is equal to 100 plus or minus the square root of 4 squared is simply 4. And the square root of 100 is simply 10, so root 6 over 2. Or we say x is equal to 100 over 2 plus or minus 40 root 6 over 2. This is 50 and this is 20. So x is simply 50 plus 20 root 6. This is plus or minus. Then we can say x1 is equal to 50 plus 20 root 6. And then x2 is equal to 50 minus 20 root 6. So these are the two values of x and then we go back to equation 3 from earlier and find the corresponding values of y. So equation 3 was y is equal to 100 minus x. So using y is equal to 100 minus x and we have two values for x therefore we say y1 is equal to 100 minus x1 which is going to be y1 is equal to 100 minus 50 plus 20 root 6 which will give us y1 is equal to 100 minus 50 is 50, minus 20 root 6, we get minus 20 root 6. This is our y1, and we do the same thing for y2. So y2 is equal to 100 minus x2. So y2 is equal to 100 minus 50 minus 20 root 6. So y2 is equal to 100 minus 50 is 50, minus times minus is plus, and we have 20 root 6, giving us the second value for y. So we can say x1 y1 is equal to 
50 plus 20 root 6 comma 50 minus 20 root 6 and x2 y2 is equal to 50 minus 20 root 6 comma 50 plus 20 root 6 giving us the four solutions to this problem if you have enjoyed the solution to this problem kindly hit the subscribe button and i will see you in my next video